Ladies and gents, this is Distract TV. We are in New York, and tonight you're going to see where fetish meets fashion. Vengeance Design. Hello, darling. Lovely to see you again. Absolutely love your new collection. Thank you. What was your inspiration? Well, military uniforms, of course. Um, I've always had a bit of a uniform fetish, and I'm attracted to different eras of uniform throughout history, all different countries. So I took all of my favorites and I tailored them into rubber to make it a little kinkier, but while still keeping the classic tailored fit, just tight and sexy. Very good. And obviously, we know that military was in fashion as well, oh, yeah. but you've used latex to make it all. Yeah, I try and stay on trends, like I did go to fashion school, so I try not to be completely oblivious of the trends, but I don't want to follow them exactly, I want to know what's going on and take those trends, but translate them into my own style, which I guess would be the, the little fetish twist. So everyone loves military, but now I'm bringing you rubber military. Huh? So that's even better because it's high fashion. And fetish. And shiny. And very shiny. And it feels good. It's comfy. You know, why have it in fabric? Spandex? I can have it in delicious tight rubber. I mean, come on. You do sweat in it, though. Oh, yeah, you sweat, but I mean, sweat in everything. Not good for the summer, mm -hmm. right? Well, in the summer, you can just have like a latex bikini or a latex one piece. Like, in, you know, in the winter, I'm very happy to have all of this layering, but in the summer, a rubber bikini is heaven. You heard it from Vengeance Designs wear rubber bikinis. Mm hmm. Is that correct? This is correct, yeah. Max, you're German. Yeah, I'm German, but Innocent used to be in a uh, UK brand, but we bought them three years ago. They are on the market for 19 years now, and I think we do pretty well. Well, I'm from the UK, and we absolutely love latex. Now, obviously, latex is not just fetish, it's fashion. Yeah. We've got one of your gorgeous models. Can you explain um, her outfit? Yeah, Tyler's wearing the Minagone, it's from our last collection. Uh, we tried to make something more elegant, which is not so much fetish. Of course, it's latex and it's still a fetish dress, but you can also wear it to a normal party that no one will say, oh, what is she wearing there? Yeah. It's absolutely stunning. And a lot of your stuff can be worn to nice galas, to big evenings. Would you agree? I would totally agree. And even the next collection, which will come out in five weeks, will be more uh, like fashion clothes and fetish clothes, but it will be a mixture of everything, so you should look at it. <laughs> so are you finding a lot of people are wearing a lot of latex um, just out and about rather than it just being a fetish, but more of a fashion now? Yeah, it's going higher as this perspective. We have two different kinds of customers. Of course, the uh, fetish customers are still there, which we love to serve. But um, now it's getting more to the fashion thing and also more younger people, they just want to make a kinky party and they don't care if they are fetishists or not, they just like to dress up sexy. Nice, and how do you feel in latex? I love to wear latex feeling and 
when you have another one and it's just like, oh, I love it. And two beautiful girls, what should I say? I have the best job in the world. Max, you're so naughty, I love it. I'm always. Is there anything you'd like to say to our audience in regards to fashion and latex? Yeah, I would say, if you never tried out latex before, just go somewhere, try it on, and I can guarantee you, you will get addicted. And maybe you will have a look to www.innersanctumonline.com. I would be proud to see you there. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Max.